What is going on guys? My name is Ken G and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully it's not the first time that you're watching one of my videos, but in case it is, I am a third year medical student studying in London. And in this video, I wanted to make a really quick video telling you guys about how I prepared for my UK CAT or what it was called back then, which is now the UCAT. I know that some of you guys have the UCAT actually coming up in a couple of months. I'm not entirely sure what the situation is with COVID, but I know that some of you will be planning on doing UCAT this year. So if you're doing the UCAT this year, I'll make sure to put up all of the UCAT dates on the screen uh, in terms of the deadlines. So I want to tell you guys exactly uh, the resources that I used to prep for the UK CAT, how long I took to prepare for it, and also give you guys the grades that I got during my UCAT. And honestly, don't let anyone convince you that the UCAT is only an aptitude 2 test. You can't revise for it, you can't prepare for it, because that's entirely not true. But actually, the UCAT is definitely something you can prepare for. And there are a number of strategies that you can learn to improve your score on the UCAT. I should probably start by saying that this may not necessarily be the best method to study for the UCAT. This is just the method that I used uh, for my preparation during the year that I applied. And also, this is not a sponsored video at all. Uh, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies at all. This is just me literally telling you exactly what I did to prepare for my exam. So I'm going to make this a very quick video for you guys. And let's start off with what resources I actually used for the UCAT. So the first thing that I used uh, when preparing for my UCAT was a book called uh, Kaplan Score High on the UCAT. This book is really, really good because it broke down each section into different parts. It started off by talking about, I think it was quantitative reasoning first, and actually explained what this section is all about, what it tests, and most importantly, the strategy to use uh, when doing well. It taught me loads of different methods to actually save time uh, when doing the UK CAT, because as you guys know, the most important thing about the UCAT is timing. You don't get very long on each question, so it really is important to develop a strategy to answer these questions. So the CAT was a great way to understand uh, how to approach the actual uh, questions and also um, all the strategies involved in saving time. So I used this book for a whole entire week. I literally sat down in the library, analyzing the book, trying to uh, learn and apply all of the different strategies that the book taught me. And once I felt like I had a good grasp of what the actual UCAT is, once I developed my strategies and practiced them, I then moved on to Medify. But before moving on to Medify, what I did is, uh, as I was reading the book, I then uh, brought out a pen and paper and I wrote down all of the notes about the key things I was learning. So I had uh, notes on each section of the UCAT and I wrote down exactly what the strategies that I'll be using for the actual UCAT that the book taught me. So every single morning before actually starting my UCAT practice, I'll go over this, um, these notes, make sure that I drill them in my mind and I remember exactly exactly uh, all of the strategies that I'll be applying on the actual exam day. Once I felt that I knew uh, all of the strategies that I will be using, I then moved on to Medify. Medify is an online website that was really good at giving me loads of practice questions because the most important thing about the UCAT is not just the strategies, but it's about practice, practice, practice. It's one thing to learn all the strategies that you need for the actual exam, but it's another thing to actually sit down for the exam and uh, practice as much as you can. It's kind of like a driving theory test. You can sit down and learn all of the theory of driving, but you'll never practice the actual test unless you practice uh, you know, practically to apply all of the things you learn on the theory. So what I did is I made a Medify account and I think I paid for around three weeks worth of practice. I then sat down every morning around maybe three or four hours a day, just sitting down, practicing as much as I could uh, on all the questions on every single uh, aspect of the UCAT. I spent around one week doing all of the different sections. So I spent an even amount of time on each individual section of the UCAT. But what is really important is that over time, you start to realize where your strengths are and you also start to work on your weaknesses. So for example, for me, uh, after around one, one and a half to two weeks of practicing, I started realizing that maths was my strongest point and verbal reasoning was actually my weakest point. So what I started to do was actually reduce the amount of time that I spent studying on the quantitative reasoning section and took that time and actually applied that to my verbal reasoning section. That's the approach that I took. I know some of my friends actually worked on their strengths instead. Because the UCAT takes an average of all of your marks, if you score higher on one section, that can compensate for another section. But the approach that I took was to work my weaknesses because I thought that I was naturally gifted at maths. So what would really affect me on the exam day wasn't my strengths, it was actually the weak points that I had, which was verbal reasoning at the time. So as I said, I continued to work on my weak points until my weak points started improving and becoming more of a strength. And then once I reached the point where I felt confident in all sections, I then continued to maintain uh, all sections until the actual exam day. So to kind of summarize what I said, uh, I started off by um, evenly spreading my time across all sections. So for all four sections, I'd spend an hour in each section every single day. And then as time progressed, and as I realized where my strengths were and where my weaknesses were, I then started spending more time on my weaknesses. So instead of spending one hour in quantitative reasoning a day, maybe I'd take that down to around half an hour and take that extra half an hour from quantitative reasoning and focus that on verbal reasoning. And I did that until I felt like all of my weaknesses became equal or just shy of equal to my strengths. 
and then maintained an equal amount of time on each section right up until the actual exam day. And in regards to situational judgment, um, the way that I approach revising this section is to do as many questions as possible. And also when I got a question wrong to come back and make sure I understand exactly where I went wrong. And what this did is that it really made me understand where I went wrong and how I should be thinking when approaching ethical questions or situational judgment questions. And whilst you're practicing on Medify, what's really, really important is not just to do as many questions as possible, but to make sure you go back on all of the questions that you got wrong and understand exactly how and exactly why you got them wrong. Similarly to making notes, what is really important as well is if you find something that you don't understand, say for example, you're doing quantitative reasoning and you realize that you don't actually know how to calculate the area of a sphere, go back and understand uh, how to calculate the area of a sphere and then bring out your A4 sheet of paper and write down the formula that you need to know. So next time you can approach it with the same formula. The reason why I say it's really important to have an A4 sheet of paper with notes is that you may be revising for the UCAT for three or four, five, six weeks. And over that period of time, you'll gain a tremendous amount of knowledge. And once you do build up this A4 sheet of paper with everything that you've learned, it really is important to come back to it every single day and go over everything that you've learned so that it sticks in your head and you can continue to apply this through UCAT training. The last resource that I use to prepare for UCAT is also to go on the UCAT website. There's tons and tons of free um, questions and mock tests and explanations on the actual official UCAT website that you can go on. And they're really, really key and free resource that you can use for UCAT practice. What I would also recommend is while you're using these online practice resources is to make sure that you actually uh, do it on a computer, on an actual desktop, not on an iPad, or a phone. What you want to do is replicate the actual exam day as much as you can. So make sure that you use the online on-screen uh, calculator as well. Make sure you work in a quiet and a comfortable environment so that you can replicate the exact same environment that you'll have on the actual exam day. So that is the approach that I took to actually prepare for my UCAT. In terms of the grades that I actually got, um, I think I got 520 on verbal reasoning, which basically means I can't even read and, and I don't know how to speak English. Um, I got 520 on verbal reasoning. I got 670 on abstract reasoning and also 740 on my quantitative reasoning. Um, so as you can tell, my quantitative reasoning mark really brought out my average. I think my average was around uh, 650 on the actual day. And I also managed to get a band one for situational judgment. So that is pretty much it guys. That's exactly how I approach my UCAT practice. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on all of my social media. And also if you have any suggestions as to what further videos I should do in the future in terms of the UCAT, please leave a comment down below with your suggestions and I'll make sure to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.